Welcome back. We are live from opening day at the State Fair of Texas. Our photojournalist, Tim Anders, he has gotten on to the Texas Star. I think they're getting ready to, are they going up? I think they're moving around there. I mean, you can see everything. Look at you, downtown you, Dallas. You, you can see the Bank of America building in downtown Dallas all the way out yonder, and you can see the Cotton Bowl down below. So Tim Anders, photojournalist Tim Anders, has the best seat in the house as we speak. Yeah, he does. And you know, when you get on these rides, one of the things you can't help but think about is safety. Safety for yourself, safety for your family. But there is a big push out here to make sure that all of these rides are in tip-top shape and are ready for you as you come in here to check them out. So I want to give you a look at a little bit of what goes in to making sure that you and your entire family stay safe while you have fun. It's inspection time for the Texas Star, and these men will look over every inch of every car on the Ferris wheel, while another inspector checks out each car at the Love Bug. You end up looking at the seat, looking for any torn, torn upholstery. The same procedure will play out for all 75 rides here at Fair Park, the ones owned by the fair and those that travel here. We go above and beyond what the state requires. Rusty Fitzgerald is the senior vice president of operations. He says Texas requires rides be inspected at least once a year. If a ride got inspected in January, we could bring it in here and not inspect it at all and have it run and be legal. But we go above and beyond. I'm going to inspect everything. That often starts at other state fairs well before opening day in Dallas. I was in Minnesota last week uh, talking to it, uh, some of the ride inspectors there and then looking at some of the rides that are coming here. Earlier in the year, I was at the Florida State Fair. That's in January, February. Once the rides arrive in Dallas, the process really ramps up. Every day, the ride gets inspected by um, the owner. They turn that inspections into us. Then I have safety inspectors that work for me. We go do secondary inspections and, you know, I might go put a card, my business card on there and you got to turn it in to me during your inspection. And if you find my card, I'll buy you lunch. But if they don't find the card, Fitzgerald says the ride is shut down to be thoroughly reinspected. He says if he has to worry about a ride, he doesn't want it here. And I get to pick the best operators and the best equipment because they all want to play the State Fair of Texas. You know, and when you're up on the Texas Star that goes out that high, you want to know that it has been thoroughly inspected. You want to know that all the rides here are going to be okay for your family, and they put so much work into that each and every year. And that's just a part of keeping all the fairgoers safe and sound. You just saw our photojournalist Tim Anders. He's up yes. in that in that in that uh, high, you know, ride right now as we speak.